In this video, we're going to learn about percent composition. And percent composition is just the percent by mass of each element in a compound. When I say percent, per means divided by cent 100, we should be thinking of part over whole. What part of, for example, calcium nitrate is calcium per the whole mass of calcium nitrate? And what part is nitrogen per the whole calcium nitrate? And the same for oxygen. So to do this, we first need to figure out what is the overall mass of calcium nitrate. Uh, and so this is just formula mass all over again. So we'll figure out formula mass by first writing out the elements. We got calcium, we've got nitrogen, and we've got oxygen. The calcium weighs 40.08 grams per mole. The nitrogen weighs 14.01. And the oxygen weighs 16.00. Now, there's only one calcium atom, so the total mass of calcium in calcium nitrate is 40.08 grams per mole. And nitrogen, well, there's two of them, so the total mass of nitrogen is going to be 28.02 grams of nitrogen per mole of calcium nitrate. And for oxygen, there are six atoms, so this comes out to 96.00 grams of oxygen per every mole of calcium nitrate. So when we add them all up, what we get is 164.10 grams per mole, grams of calcium nitrate per moles of calcium nitrate. So the next thing that we'll have to do is figure out, okay, out of this whole 164-ish grams, um, what part, what percent is that 40? Um, so what we can do is next take, we'll move this over here. We'll say percent CA is equal to 40.08 divided by 164.10 times 100%. And that equals, let me move this over, that equals 24.42%. The percent nitrogen is equal to, we have 28.02 divided by, again, 164.10. We'll multiply by 100%, and we get 17.07%. And for percent oxygen, this is equal to 96.00 divided by 164.10 times 100%, and that equals 51.17%. So this should get you Oh, sorry, it's 58.50%. If you add these up, they should get you to, if it's not exactly 100.00%, it should get you very, very close. Um, but uh, that works for our calcium nitrate. Um, and you can you know, use similar um, thinking for just about any compound. But I do want to go over um, hydrates. So here we have Epsom salt, magnesium sulfate heptahydrate. And a common um, problem that you might find is what is the percent by mass of just the water within magnesium sulfate heptahydrate? So to do that, again, we list out our um, components. We've got magnesium, we've got sulfur, we've got oxygen. And actually, I like to put the water as its own separate substance. I know there's hydrogen and oxygen within the water, but if we're finding the percent by mass of the water, let's keep it all together. So what we'll do is we'll write out that magnesium is 24.31 grams per mole. Sulfur is going to be 32.06 and oxygen is going to be 16.00. Now, water I'm going to do out separately. We have H, which is 1.01 .01 times 2 equals 2.02. .02. And for O, it's 16.00 times 1 is equal to 16.00. .00. So the sum of two hydrogens and one oxygen is 18.02 grams per mole. So my mass of water I'm going to put in here is 18.02. .02. Next, we need to multiply by the number of atoms of each. So for magnesium, it's one. Times For sulfur, it's one. For uh, oxygen, it's four. For water, it's seven. And what this comes out to is 24.31, 32.06, 64.00. And for water, it comes out to 126.14. And when we add them all up, 
we end up with 246.51 grams of magnesium sulfate heptahydrate per mole. Now, you might recall this being Epsom salt, something that you can buy in a grocery store or a pharmacy. Um, and it's interesting because what we're about to find out is a significant percentage of Epsom salt, bath salts that you pay for, um, is actually you're just paying for water. Um, in fact, the percent H2O is going to be equal to 126.14 uh, divided by 246.51 times, times 100% which is equal to 51, uh, sorry, 51.17%. So 51.17% of the Epsom salt that you buy at your local pharmacy is actually just paying for water. Anyway, that's percent composition in a couple different ways. Hope this video has helped. Feel free to leave any questions or comments in the comments section below.